Gimbal barcode can be used to scan driver license barcodes in order to insert and update records in Salesforce. In this demonstration, I'm going to be scanning the barcode that's on the backside of a driver license in order to insert a new lead record into Salesforce. The same functionality, however, can be configured to work with contacts or accounts or to find or update um, existing records rather than um, inserting a new one. But in this demonstration, we're going to be scanning the barcode in order to insert a new lead record. So we're going to be uh, scanning barcodes that conform to the AAMVA standard, which uh, defines the data that will be stored in a PDF 417 um, barcode that's on the backside of a driver license. In order to conduct the demonstration, the first thing I'm going to need is some uh, barcodes to use. And so, and you can also use Gimbal Barcode in order to print PDF 417 barcodes, if that's um, what you need to do for your use case. And so here I've printed out or I've generated a PDF page that has some driver license barcodes on it. And I've printed out this document using the uh, print functionality of the um, PDF plugin in my browser. And I have this piece of paper sitting on my desk in front of me. I'm going to go to a custom lightning component that I've created labeled scanned driver license to create lead. And I'm going to scan the first driver license. And we see that after having scanned the um, barcode, the fields were parsed out. And because a driver license typically does not have a phone number or an email address in it, and leads often do have phone numbers and email addresses, I've added these fields to the uh, Lightning component so that when I save this new lead, that information can be added at the same time. But of course, we could add other custom fields to this component if your use case requires that. So I click Save, and there's my brand new lead that was um, created. I can scan another one immediately thereafter. And here's another lead. I didn't take the time to add a phone number or an email address for this one. And we can see that with each barcode that I scanned, I've extracted all of the information from the driver license. Now, some of this I've inserted into particular fields, like the name and the address. Um, but other fields like height, eye color, um, date of birth, I, I may not have inserted into a particular lead field, and I've just left it in a uh, freeform text description field um, on the lead, but we certainly can uh, parse out this data and put it in a particular field according to your um, requirements. I can uh, click a button to edit the record right here without renavigating, and if I've made a mistake, I can delete the record, and I can also click on the link that is the new name in order to go directly to the new lead record. Now that same functionality is available in the um, mobile device. On my mobile device, I have that same tab, Scan Driver License to Create Lead. I'm going to click that tab in the mobile device, and we'll see that it's basically the same component but there's an additional button for scanning a barcode. And this button is going to launch the Gimbal Barcode app, which then launches the camera, does the scanning, makes a call to Salesforce, inserts the new lead, and returns the user to the Salesforce mobile app. So I'm going to click that button. We see that the Gimbal Barcode mobile app launches, the camera launches, I scanned a barcode, and we see the data was parsed out just like in the desktop. I'm going to click Save. And we see now we have three leads that I've recently scanned. And I'm going to scan one more. And I can add an email address to this one. And um, however many leads I've created today, in this case, will show up in this Lightning component. But of course, the entire uh, user experience can be uh, customized for your um, particular needs.
I can be of further assistance, please don't hesitate to get in touch with us. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.